Today we'll be looking at some different Final Fantasy Coca-Cola items, specifically the Final Fantasy VII ones. Who would have guessed, right? Who would have guessed? Um, so I'm just going to do a quick overview from the uh, Coca-Cola bottle I've shown you before. Um, I'm going to show you the different types of little minifigures you can get from the Coca-Cola sets, along with the package that comes with it, the videotape, and well, just a little edumacation about all of it, so uh, let's do that. Mm. Now, for those who've already seen my videos, I'm sure you've seen this like five times, but one last time, people, one last time. Um, basically, this is a Coca-Cola bottle that you got in Japan uh, during the year 2000. Uh, you can see the little Japanese writing on the top, and the thing that makes this uh, significant, basically, is that it has uh, Cloud and Squall on the front. It just says Final Fantasy 2000 right there. Uh, it was just a limited edition item where they were just selling in convenience stores and uh, different places like that, so it's a real pain in the ass to get that nowadays. Uh, you can probably get an average price around like $100 for it, so if you see it, definitely try and grab it. It's a very rare item. Uh, so that is one of the co or the only Coca-Cola bottle that you can get that is related to this genre of Coca-Cola Final Fantasy merchandise. So, cool. So what we have here really is a bunch of different Final Fantasy VII uh, Coca-Cola figures that I have. Uh, there are two different sets, so I'm going to individually show you those right now. So in order, it's Cloud Strife, Aerith, Sephiroth, Tifa, Chocobo, and of course that fucking Mog. Um, what we have in the back right here is the different crystal figures that they have, so you might see this uh, sometimes they do play art figures where they'll have the uh, normal edition, uh, just like these, and then they'll, I guess, be the slightly more rare uh, version, which is just the crystal. And I, I personally don't really like them, but they're pretty cheap to get. So each one of these figures can run you about maybe... Five to ten dollars each. Um, I know that the second set I'm about to show you is a lot more difficult to acquire. So, again, these are all of the uh, first versions of the Final Fantasy VII Coca-Cola figures uh, that came in the year 2000. And these are the uh, second edition of the Coca-Cola figures uh, for Final Fantasy VII. Um, they're basically kind of the same figures, more variety, but they're just taller. So I guess you would label the first edition as kind of chibi. Um, so in order, it would be Cloud Strife, Aerith, Tifa, Barrett, Yuffie, Vincent, uh, Red Thirteen, Sephiroth. And I, I really just gotta ask, why, why can't we have a Sid figure, ever? Why is that? I, I, I really have to ask. Now, the Final Fantasy uh, Coca-Cola figures all came in these little uh, packages, just like this for the first edition. Uh, as for the second edition, I, I don't know information on uh, the containers they came in or exactly, so sorry about that. But uh, this is the package itself. I've opened all of them, obviously. Um, so on the front base, it just says uh, Final Fantasy figures, you know, collect all 24 variety figures. Um, this is just for the first edition, and this is a mix of uh, Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII. As you can see, uh, Cloud Strife, and you have Squall right there. Um, and then this just labels all the different, like, orders. So you have Final Fantasy collectibles. Uh, it has the whole list from Final Fantasy VII going from Cloud uh, all the way down to Mog. And then the rest right here uh, just goes all a whole variety of the crystal figures, the normal ones. So it's just to give you an update of like, oh, you know, which ones can there be? So Because it really sucks to try and find the whole collection of something and don't know exactly how many are in it. But that's pretty much the gist of it. And just says a little bit about uh, Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII. So those are the packages uh, that are containing these figures right here along with the different uh, Final Fantasy VIII figures as well. What we have here is just a Final Fantasy VII slash Final Fantasy VIII uh, Coca-Cola VHS tape which you got also with the grand prize box of all the other figures and stuff. So uh, you can see right here uh, you have Cloud and Squall in the front it just says Final Fantasy original movie clip. It says it on the side as well. Uh, I know I've showed you guys this tape before but it's still part of the Coca-Cola set so I have to show you. There's the front, it says the same thing. Um, as for the actual contents of the video, it's just a bunch of different uh, scenes from the game, just like the, I guess, the, what you'd call the 90s CGI kind of uh, graphic movie part, so nothing too special really, but you get this with the uh, whole box set, so uh, it just shows different clips. That's pretty much the whole thing. It's, it's not that great, but you know me. I have to have everything. So what you're looking at is the Final Fantasy Coca-Cola Special Box, uh, which was a promotional set that was limited to about 3,000 pieces. Um, it was one of those special lotteries, so, you know, send a postcard or do this and that to try and win. Um, basically, what the, what the set consists of was uh, the display figures I showed you for the um, 
Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 8 figures. Um, they didn't include the red crystal ones, but they were they had yellow bases, which shows that they were part of the 3000 set. So you feel all fancy mancy with your yellow base bottoms. And it had a small hard uh, cover book, which is like one of those, it's no different from any other art book that you've seen before, just images from the game, so nothing too special. I haven't bought that, but it usually goes for about $40, $50, and I'm just kind of meh toward it. Um, also, it came with uh, the videotape that I showed you before. Um, I didn't have the t-shirts with me at the moment, but you can check them out at my uh, other video that I did for my promotional items. Um, you come with the two uh, t-shirts, which was the Shinra Electric Company and the I Was Kicked by Chocobo shirt, which was is the yellow one. And uh, for the whole set, it would have cost about maybe $300 to get all these items. And the only other item that I wasn't able to really show uh, was the Coca-Cola collectible cards. I, I honestly stay away from the cards because they're just really annoying to collect. But uh, that's the whole set of uh, different Coca-Cola cards as well. So overall, these are all of the Coca-Cola figures, and I might not have shown before, but I'll just give you a little detail as why they look the same. Uh, you have the crystal figures, and uh, I'm sure that uh, all of you are thinking, oh, Robbie, you must have uh, bought all these in a big pack or a bundle or just bought them individually, right? I mean, it couldn't have been that difficult to acquire all these Coca-Cola figures, would it? To acquire all these figures, not only do you have to buy them individually and in packs, but you have to scourge the earth buying every single other one in the entire set. Because all the Coca-Cola minifigures also come with uh, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX, and Final Fantasy X. So getting the actual normal figures, oh, that's not really too big of a problem, really. Second edition's harder to get, but, you know, no big deal. But the crystal figures, no one keeps the crystal figures. They just throw them away because they don't give two shits, let alone three. So yes, I have many, many crystal figures spending from, you know, 10 to $50 a pack just to try and get the ones I want. And eBay sellers will lie to you. Oh yeah, we have that one in that pack. No big deal, whatever. So yeah, if you're gonna go for the Coca-Cola minifigures, that, uh, that shit doesn't fuck around. It does not fuck around, ever.